NCAA instituting some major changes as it relates to amateurism. You remember the Rice Commission met to make some suggestions to the NCAA. Well, one of the biggest attention grabbers, big headline maker, undrafted players now with some qualifications can keep their name in the draft all the way through draft night. And by Monday of the following week, if they are undrafted, they can still return to school. In addition, players in both college and high school can now have official relationships with agents as long as those players in high school are labeled elite. That determination to be made by USA Basketball and all agents must be certified by an NCAA program. A lot of this still to come out in the wash, but we are not the experts. We do know a guy, however, who is. More on these changes now with BTN basketball analyst Mike DeCourcy, who joins us on the phone. Mike, there's no question, the headline grabber, the ability to return to school for players who do not hear their names called in the NBA draft. Your thought on whether that is a good change and how it may impact college basketball in the future? Well, I think it could be a good change, but I, I don't think it's a good change in the way it's being executed uh, because it's, it's far too limiting. They're essentially saying, if you if you declare, get out. They're, I mean, that's really. I mean, if you declare and stay in the draft past the withdrawal date, they don't want you back. And it, the, the, originally, the commission. Uh, I didn't agree with much of what the Rice Commission proposed, but I thought that their proposal on, in, in this regard was a good thing because I think if you if you make a mistake, it shouldn't be irrevocable. But what the what the people who have worked the, the committee that worked to put the Rice Commission's proposals into NCAA legislation took all the teeth out of it by saying that basically the you have to be invited to the NBA's combine, a uh, pre-draft combine, in order to be eligible for this. So if you really ma make a mistake badly uh, and think, okay, even though I didn't get invited to combine, I'm still going to be okay, and you go through the draft process and then you aren't selected, and then you can't come back. But if you're, you know, there were only four players who were at the combine this year. Who, who, who were uh, underclassmen who were undrafted, including Malik Newman from Kansas, Raleigh Alkins from Arizona. Uh, there were, it, was, it was such a select group that it really has almost no impact on college basketball at all. Interesting take. One of the other uh, revelations today, the ability for not just college players, Mike, but even high school players, those deemed by USA Basketball as elite recruits, to have official relationships with agents. Now, there's no doubt this change came in the wake of the FBI probe and how much secretive behind closed doors negotiations were going on. What are we to make of this change and how impactful it could actually be? Well, I think it's better than nothing because if you're a high school player uh, coming out of high school trying to decide whether or not uh, to, to go into the NBA draft, it, it can be helpful to have an agent, it, but it also can be problematic because they may give you information uh, relative to your draft status that could be more in their interest than in yours. I mean, you're their, eight, you know, you're their client right now. Uh, if you go to college and in a year, maybe you won't be their client. So they are going to be uh, predisposed to tell you that your pro prospects are great. Uh, and and it, they may not be. Uh, now, that's that. a lot of agents will be uh, reputable and honorable and will do the right thing in that case, but the problem isn't the reputable agents, it's the others. Uh, so what, what the, the, what, what's wrong with the agent uh, recommendations, again, I, I, I feel like the committees that worked on this didn't put in, they sort of took uh, the, the, uh, the juice out of the recommendation. Uh, was it, it, you ought to be able to, to remain a client of that agent so that if that agent uh, you know, likes having a relationship with you and thinks you have potential but thinks you'd be much better off with a year or two at Duke or Kentucky or Michigan or Michigan State, um, then, they, then they would say, hey, look, you're not ready yet, but you know, we'll get this done in two years or a year or whatever. But the way the NCAA wrote this regulation or adopted it is that once you go to high school or, or you, uh, you, once you go from high school to college, the relationship has to end. The rule says you, it has to end. So 
again, you're, you're, you're incentivizing the agent to provide information that is in his or her own best interest more so than the players. No one more insightful or informative when it comes to NCAA college basketball than BTN basketball analyst Mike DeCourcy. Mike, as always, great to catch up. Thanks for the thoughts. Oh, you bet, Rick. I enjoyed it.